What's going on, YouTube? Chuck D back again, back again. So, what you guys are looking at right now, this is what I pretty much see most of the time when I drive, because as y'all know, I drive at nighttime, 90% of the time. So, just a recap I um, picked up yesterday out of uh, Grand Pierce at a Coca Cola plant, and it picked up around 10.30 last night, and I delivered it this morning in uh, Searcy, Arkansas, at a Sam's warehouse. And when I got there, um, the workers, they were pretty lazy. They almost tried to, I almost got sent away because um, they tried to say that the load was double booked because when I got there, there was another Stevens driver. And I guess we had the, um, in their mind, they thought we had the same pickup number because me and this guy... We were both going to the same exact place, but the only difference was our pickup numbers were different. Like mine ended in two and his ended in one. So they just assumed that uh, we both had the same pickup number. So after they um, looked at our numbers, they did realize that um, they were different, but we were both going to, you know, to the same place. So. Right now it's uh, nine o'clock and I'm headed down to um, Hot Springs, Arkansas to pick up my load. And that load is going to um, San Bernardino, California. So believe it or not, I'm actually late picking up this load because um, I already knew that the load was gonna be picked up late because um, like I said, this load delivered this morning at um, 8 a.m. And it took them about a little under three hours to unload me. So I already knew there was no way I'd be able to get a break in or an eight hour break and still deadhead two hours, you know, before the uh, delivery time. So I already knew that. But um, they informed me, you know, that they'll still load me. They say, you know, when my break ends, just uh, head down there, and they'll get me loaded. And this load is um, another water load. Again, it's uh, 43,000 and some chains, so another heavy load. And I was actually um, reading the reviews about this place that I'm picking up at, and they're all bad reviews. Like, there's at least like 60 reviews on this particular shipper. And I kid you not, all these reviews are one star, like everybody. It's pretty much saying that they're um, unprofessional, be prepared to sit for a long time, that the um, parking is extremely tight, which is true. Because I was looking at this place on the map, on the Google Maps, and yeah, it is. They weren't lying about that. It's extremely tight getting into this place. So I'm going to have to work some magic to get my ass in that spot. So. So um, hopefully, um, and they also said this place only has two doors, two docks, so that should be interesting. But you know, we'll see, maybe my experience will be different, but when you got 60 people saying the same thing, it's kind of, eh, it doesn't look promising. But um, yeah, I get asked a lot um, why I always drive at night, or why do I like nighttime driving in? If you can see, it's pretty obvious. If you can see, um, there's hardly any cars or trucks out here. So I like the nighttime because, like I said, you don't have to worry about traffic. You know, in the daytime, you have more people out. And, you know, with this whole corona shit going on, there's even less people out on these roads. So I can cover more miles, you know. Another reason why I like nighttime, too, is I don't have to worry about the sun. You would think, you know, because I live in Florida, I'm used to heat and humidity, but I can never get used to it. So at least at night, I don't have to worry about that. Another reason, too, I like nighttime is um, it's less accidents out on the road. Uh, and another reason, too, by the time I shut down, you know, when I'm shutting down, people are rolling out, which means I have... Lots of options to choose from where I want to park at or where I want to shut down at. 
Now, there are some cons to uh, driving at night. You know, you got construction because a lot of times they start construction usually around 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So that's when you deal with, like, the one lane, lane closures, you know, shit like that. But, I mean, I can deal with that. But another con, too, is, like, especially on the weekends, if you're driving, like, near major cities, you do have to worry about, you know, the drunk drivers because you know they do be out there i've witnessed it firsthand you know the other thing too is uh wildlife you know you got deer them deer if y'all think those deer won't run out in the street you crazy as hell because them deer will run out i've seen it happen you know i've had a few times where i've almost hit them i've had a few near misses you know and just to give y'all an idea how close they be, because usually um, we'll use this white line as a reference point. Let's just say that barrier is like the grass. They'll literally be like right there, like right there, just munching on the grass. You know, you have that thought in the back of your mind, just hoping like, please don't run out into this road. You know, they say um, you're not supposed to swerve. You're supposed to just hit the deer because... Um, you can essentially roll the truck over, you know, if you swerve too sudden, you know, so just hit the deer if that happens. Um, one of you guys asked in my last video, um, if I only play, uh, like sports games, I do play, uh, like Call of Duty, uh, Assassin's Creed, I do play shooter games. Uh, another person asked how I play online in my truck. I do have, uh, internet, I have, like, hotspot that I use. So that's how I'm going to do that. Um, another question I get asked a lot is, um, do I train as of right now? No, I do not train. I do plan on training, just not right now. So when I am, you know, training, I will let you guys know. And maybe one day I'll get to train one of you guys. But as of right now, no, I'm not training. I'm not a trainer. So hopefully um, when I get to California, it'll be some warmer weather because it's been pretty cold in Arkansas. It was, um, it's been in the 40s. And um, yeah. And supposedly I heard that they got a, um, a tornado hit through right where I'm uh, delivering to or picking up from up in Hot Springs. So hopefully um, they didn't get hit too bad, hopefully. But I guess we'll see when we get there. Yeah. By the way, if you guys um want to see, you know, other things, you know, on this channel, you know, just let me know. And I do have, you know, plans for this channel. I do plan on, you know, doing some uh, ride-alongs. Well, not physically letting y'all ride away, but, you know, basically letting y'all see, you know, what I see out here. I do plan on doing that. That way you guys can see, you know, the job besides, you know, seeing my face in the camera. So I do plan on doing that in the near future. Um, as I always tell you guys, thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the day one subscribers. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you, you know, for showing your support. Um, as I said before, I uh, want to wish everybody luck. If you're coming to Stevens. If you're at home, make sure you know you're staying safe, doing your quarantine, you know, staying your ass in the house. And as I always tell you guys, y'all take it easy out there, stay safe.